So humid and muggy and hot this morning. It's kind of crazy. It's December. It's got to be like 80 degrees out. It's not even 7 o'clock. Three Dunkin' Donuts, a Winn Dixie, and a Publix. For two coffees and a buttered roll. Un There's this majestic sunrise happening right now, but I can't. Probably can't tell on camera, but the light right now is like... Hey, what's up guys? What I want to do today, another DIY vlog. I'm sorry, but it's what I'm doing. So hey, that's that's what I'm... Um, I got this great space. I need to make the best use of it. This is what's going on. If you don't like it, you could just watch watch one of the other 140 videos that are up here. I'm sure you haven't seen them all yet. This space, this is going to be my overhead camera rig. Um, probably just going to have an iPhone there for now. What it is, is I'm going to use these string lights, hang them up around here, and create a little soft box where I can place artwork here, I can place items here, and stop motion animate them so you're probably not familiar it's my kids room where i'm storing just my excess stuff right now it's it's terrible this this is a toy that i invented we brought it to market in partnership with marvel studios and this is the animovie animated movie maker this works as a stop motion animation studio on your home TV. It uses um, AV type of connectors to connect directly into the imports on a TV. This is roughly just a, a, a two megapixel digital camera that uses an SD card and it articulates. You can either shoot on the stage or you can shoot across the stage and animate your figures. It was a really cool project. Can come true for me. I mean, I, I hold patents on that item. Um, I've always wanted to work on a Marvel Comics uh, toy in association with them. And that one item was all of those things. I'm not just copying other YouTubers that do stop motion. I actually have a very, very strong background in stop motion animation. And it's only fitting that I utilize that. So what I'm gonna do, I don't think I'm actually capable of retrofitting this toy. I don't think the quality is there either. Using all the principles that I employed there, I can actually make a really great stop motion overhead rig here. And then I can use that for also doing like product photography or other things like that. But that's what I'm gonna do. It's another DIY project. I'm very sorry, this is not a DIY channel. My life is just in a very DIY place right now, so. All right, so I anticipate this being a little bit of a challenge just because of the limited space. I move my hands inside this cabinet. Um, these string lights, they're not the brightest thing either. They get knotted up very easily. But, Hang them and fasten them in a matrix around this space. Pack them in there pretty tight if I can, and then I have to resolve all of the cabling. So I almost feel like gluing them, but that's not gonna work. It's gonna be hard to get a hammer in here next to the light and swing it. But I almost wonder if I attach the clamp in the middle and then I can thread it through. That's the way I'm gonna approach this. This is a very small coaxial cable clamp. 
that just uses a little a little tiny roofing nail to stay put. So here goes nothing. This is the first one. Hopefully I have enough room to swing the hammer in here. So right now the weight of the lamps itself is kind of working against me. Um, I think if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 to work with. So if I do a row of three, right? Three rows of three. Let's see where that gets us. that's actually gonna work and that won't interfere with my seamless up there everything is so small and makeshift I love it this is like the smallest tiniest little Casey Neistat studio everything's like this big Bell chill out you're ruining my shop what are you doing huh All right, so this vlog can't be all about hospital visits and projects and stuff like that. It can also be about food. I mean, my favorite lunch. Grilled cheese sandwich, french fries, and pickles. Go away. She's such a dog. My cat thinks she's a dog, totally. She fell, and she begs for food all of the time. Don't you bell. The only problem with that is, she actually likes it. French fry? Want a piece? Here. She's totally eating it. She's a hound. Well, oh, it's so unstable like this. I have the grill pod kind of flipped over, so I keep looking the wrong way. The lens isn't even over there. I'm not even over there. I'm over here. I'm going to try to figure that one out. So I'm at home between visits with my mom. I have a few things. I actually have a lot that I need to get done around here. And I've had this much time to do it. So I came home came home with the intention of getting some work done. In about an hour, I'm going back to the hospital and then I'll come back, get some more done and then go back, put mom to bed a little bit later. I wish I had a more coherent thought for you guys. To be honest, I'm so distracted by my mom's health. I'm surprised I even uploaded yesterday. It's a good thing I got that suitcase done early. It was like before 10 a.m. And today, I was at the hospital before the sun came up. So I haven't gotten that far ahead. Hopefully this little diatribe and the project in there is enough to edit together something. I apologize if this sucks and there's a good chance that this sucks. Again, go, go find a better video. I redid some of the playlists below to feature some more interesting videos. Bell! So you can go ahead and dig through there. I'm gonna finish eating before it gets cold. I almost forgot the ultimate guilty pleasure. Coca-Cola through a straw. Now, my junk food empire lunch is complete. God. Wait, I think she's playing. My cat plays fetch but I'm too hungry to film it. Where's your toy? Go get it. That was mean. All right, 
There's a little scary insight into what, what makes me weird. A lot of people obsess about things, you know, certain, they have rituals or they have whatever it is, superstitions. Me, well, one thing, I put my right shoe on first every single day. But secondly, I totally obsess over the perfect last bite to every meal. So like I'm in a bit of a conundrum. I now have a piece of grilled cheese with the crust, a pickle, and a complete french fry. And some ketchup. For the last two minutes I'm playing out all these scenarios like do I do one, two, three, or three, two, one, or three, one, two, or how do I do it together and, and you know the solution that most of you would come with was to make a little stack, put them all down at once, right? I got nothing. I don't know. It went fry, sandwich, pickle. And that's that. All right, you guys. So it's getting really late. I need to edit this footage together on the DIY stop motion rig in today's vlog. But I wanted to show you guys the final piece of the puzzle. This uh, plug and shoot selfie stick usually like $4.95 I think at Walmart. It's it's a steal. I've used it a couple times on my handheld rigs. I just throw the selfie stick out and I use the phone harness, phone adapter or whatever it is. So it fits on a standard tripod set screw which then slots right into the mini Joby Gorilla Pod. But for this one I'm actually going to Don't need that. This is the part, so I'm going to fix this to some type of, uh, and uh, mount it up there close enough to the lights not to cast a shadow. So, usually $4.95 at Walmart. It was only $1.50 tonight. Uh, I guess it's on some type of clearance. And these mini room lights by their in-house brand. I forget the name of it. It's like Home something. Those were only about $12. So all in this rig is gonna cost about $14. I need to get it done. I don't know if I'll get it operational tonight, but that's my intention You see this. I'm gonna fix this onto a clamp or something that maybe another one of those magnetic toolbars where I can slide it and it can have some travel around here in this space. I did leave some space for it here. I think that's gonna be its home pretty much over, over neutral in the target there. Anyway, yeah, um, one of my friends from the vlogging group asked if I was experienced in stop motion, and yes, yes, uh, much more so than filmmaking, and uh, I introed the segment with uh, talking a little bit about my old stop motion toy. I actually have a couple of those. If you're interested in one, maybe I'll give one away. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, let me get to editing this piece. Good night, everybody. You know, I can't say that it was perfect. It was like salty, but there was like a little bit of wetness from the pickle at the end there that I wish maybe it had been like crunchy. The french fry was a little bit bigger than I thought it should have been. You know, if it was more proportionate to the sandwich, it would have been like better, but it was like big, middle, small, and, and I'm almost still hungry to a certain degree. I think it probably would have been best building up to the sandwich, or if the fry was shorter, and it went like pickle fry sandwich. I think the sandwich would have been the best finisher because that was kind of like the centerpiece of the meal. There's actually still a little bit stuck in my tooth and maybe that does kind of make, maybe that does make the sandwich the closer in this equation. Yeah, I, I don't know. Definitely didn't have enough ketchup on it. I should have put ketchup on a little bit of everything. Maybe I should have gone and done the stack up. It would have been probably the best, but you know, I still don't know. I still don't know. What I do know is definitely no pickle in the middle. If I put the pickle in the middle, it would have really just, it would have been lackluster. It wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have had the pop. I mean, the pickle at the end was nice and there was plenty of pop. Maybe it just sat like in the juice a little bit too much. I, you know, it's one of those things where